busy. So yesterday, I was able to lay in the bed to about 9.30, but I was soaking yesterday. And I got up, but it was like I was here, but I wasn't here. But I've been praying and asking the Lord, but when I got up yesterday morning, I got up with like a, uh, not an uncertainty, but I was just wondering like, like, where am I, you know, but I, I began to ask the Lord to humble me, like, I want to have more patience. I don't want to be frustrated, but I really want to hear the heart of God, and I want my um, I want my worship to be for real. Like, I want my worship to be for real. I don't want to be short with people or anything, and I always have said That if the Lord ever gave me a place, I would not want to be one of those servants who want to be in by this time and out by this time. Because, you know, I really want the glory. And I want the glory to fall. My heart is for people to truly be healed, delivered, and set free. But I want it to be so that the glory of God can be felt while people are riding down the road in their cars. That the glory, when people walk out, they're drunk. They don't have time to be worried about this and this. And that time gets away because they get in a place to where they just want to stay. And it's like, Lord, you know, like, no distractions whatsoever, but for the glory. We talk about being God chasers. How do you chase God when you're worried about what you got to do when you leave out of here? When you're worried about what was on you before you came? When you're not worried about being with your appointment with God at an appointed time that you're supposed to be here that everything else can distract you and take your mind off of God. But I want to be a God chaser. But God, I want all that you have for me. But I'm not willing to stay. I'm not willing to stay and to lay in your presence until you come. Until I get it. Because I only got 30 minutes to give you. I only got an hour to give you. But I want your glory. But I want to be a God chaser. But I have all this other stuff to do. But it's always been my prayer. Because I've read so many books. And I've heard so many stories. That when people walk in the door. That they just fall. Because of the glory. That when people driving down the road. They stop. And get out of their cars. Because of the glory. I want that. I need that. I desire that. I get here. And that's my prayer. And when I leave, that's still my prayer. I want God, I want the Holy Ghost to wreck me so that I won't even be able to stand up. That I won't even be able to do nothing but lay. And when I wake up, I don't even realize what time it is. Because it'll seem like I just went in the presence. I want him to wreck me. I want him to wreck my grandkids. I want them 
to wreck them so that even at eight and six, they'll get up and be so immersed in the Holy Ghost that they'll know not what hit them, but they'll be able to tell somebody about the glory. My son, way up in Virginia, I want the Holy Ghost to wreck him so that he'll be running around telling people. I laid out, but when I woke up, it was four or five hours later, but I was in the glory. My daughter, the same thing. Our other kids, the same thing. We got seven kids, nine grandkids. I want God to wreck them all. But I want them to start with us first. Now that I'm too tired, I ain't got time to spend with you. Lord, wreck me. I don't want it to be just words. We say, Lord, heal me. But do you really mean it? We say, Lord, immerse me. But do you really mean it? Do you really mean it? Do you really mean what you say when you say, I want the glory? Do you really mean what you say when you say, I want the Holy Ghost to come and shower me? I want the fire of God. Do you really mean it? Or is it just words? Because everything else and everybody else takes precedence over what you say, over the Holy Ghost, over the Holy Spirit, doing what he does. How do you think he feels when he said, well, I was, I was here. You worked your job all day and they got eight hours of you, but I only got 30 minutes. If 30, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm so guilty. I get up. I'll watch TV. Laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Lay in the bed. Lord, watch over me. Bless me. I dispatch the angels around me. He said, that's all I get. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I don't, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I want my worship. I don't want God to do this to me and say, you just like all them other people, them people I was talking about in the word, that in public, they come, they shout, they sing, they whatever. But in private, what do you do for me? And he turned his back on my worship. He said, I don't want that. That's a smell in my nose. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. When I tell you to get up, you get up enough time. I'm talking about me. I ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about me. Me. Because I want him to free me up today. I'm talking about me. If it fits you, but I'm talking about me. I get up. Time enough for me to go to work. I want to talk to this person and talk to this person. But I don't talk to the right person. Before I go to work, I don't get up in time. <clears throat> I give him what, what I got left. Then I go to work. And when I'm supposed to be working, I'm listening to worship. Trying to read my word. I'm supposed to did that before I got to work. So that's backwards. Every distraction. Everything takes precedence over him. But 
what do I do? Except for what? Immerse me. There's a hunger. And there's a thirst. Because I want more. We saw we in the river. Ankle deep. Waist deep. All the way in. Something should have changed. When I left here. Saturday. Because I said. Ankle deep. Waist deep. All the way in. But did I go all the way in? Or was it just a moment? That I did it. Because we were in the moment. I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about nobody else. Because he got to fix me. He called me to lead souls to him. He called me to lead people. But I can't have stuff. Because if I had step on him, then the people that he called me to, they won't get all of what they have to get. They'll only get what I got. And my cup won't be full. It'll be just down to my ankles. Because that's all that I allowed the Holy Spirit to feel. I'm talking about me. Me. When I say deeper, deeper, that means if I got to cut people off, if I have to turn my phone off, if I have to put my own self and say I ain't watching TV, and if I have to get up and if it means that he say I want you here this time, this time, and this time, this time, and don't get up till I leave, then guess what? That's what I got to do. And when I say more of him and less of me, when people see me, I want them to see Jesus. I don't want them to see me. When they hear me, I want them to hear Jesus. I don't want them to hear me. I'm tired of being like this. I don't want to go home like this. When I get immersed, I want to be immersed in Him. For real. For real. For real. For real. That the glory will be on me. The weight. And I can just walk by somebody. And they'll fall on their knees. And want to get saved. Not because of me. But because of the glory. I can be driving in my car. Pulling the parking lot at the supermarket. But because the glory is on me and my car is there. That when I get out the car. That the glory will allow people around me. To fall on their knees. Repent and accept Jesus. I want the glory. I want more. I want to go deeper deeper. There's got to be more to God than this. Than this. Than this. It's got to be. I want more. My heart can't take it because when I disappoint the Father, what good am I to the kingdom? If he doesn't have all of me, if he only has part of me, what good is it? What good am I? I'm not. I can listen to the worship songs.